I tend to think take my racket back as early as I can, especially when I play with a lot of racket speed. If the preparation is late, everything is sort of catching up. So it's racket head first, then get in position with your feet. And once I've got my racket back in position, then I can sort of pick my target. You know if you're in a good position because you can either go cross court or down the line or inside in or inside out, and it gives it the best disguise. And then I just rip the ball and try not to think about it and execute. This day and age with tennis, it's getting so physical. Often you hit on the run, so you have to be on the move a lot of the time. It's almost like when you are in position and on the ball and set, that's like a golden opportunity to really use uh, what my forehand is my weapon and really use your weapon to get on top of the point. So if you're in position and not on the run, you have a far better chance of taking advantage of the point. I've always loved my forehand. I don't know what it is. I just, I started off playing, you know, mini tennis sponge ball and I just always wanted to hit the ball as hard as I could. And I think over time, obviously coaches taught me to relax a bit and put the ball in court a bit more, but I've always had that that feeling that wanting to go after the ball on my forehand. And obviously as I've developed through the years, gotten older, you know, I've used it more and more wisely. One tip I'd give to the forehand, it definitely for me is the racketed speed. I play with a lot of spin. So as well as that speed, the ball always has control on it and the cover on the ball through that spin. I always have a pretty high target over the net. I try and play up and sort of loopy first and as I get more confident then I start to flatten out the ball and maybe take the ball on um, through the court a bit more. One specific drill I like to do, I've done it for a few years now, is both people in their backhand corner but one guy can only hit backhands and he can hit into three quarters of a court and the other guy can only hit forehands but he can only hit half a court to the guy's backhand. I hope that makes sense but it really allows the, the player with the backhand to have three quarters of the court and you and move the player around but then you learn how to hit your forehand on the backhand side and really plug the guy into the backhand. I, that's what I try and focus on uh, when I'm training and I've done that drill for lots of years now.